Hey y'all, how you perking? I hope you perking good. So, May 2021 predictions. We are here. We have made it. It is time. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> Peen sweater matching mama again today. Okay, we're both in blue. Both ladies in blue. Thank you, Penelope. You have a dog hair in your eye. I apologize for that. Must be like when I feel like I have trash in my contacts. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm apologizing to the eyeballs on my microphone. Um, if that doesn't tell you about today, I don't know what will, but <laughs> we're here. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and get into it. I am a licensed mental health clinician as well as a spiritual intuitive. And in these videos, we do take a look at the tea with the tarot. These videos are always meant to be helpful, not hateful. So if you're down with that, join the family. We'd love to have you here. So in terms of all the stuff that I would like to tell you about, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, check and make sure you're still subscribed if you thought you were. Um, this is what the notification bell will look like. If you're going to be notified of my videos, please check back routinely on my profile anyway because YouTube does drop the ball. That's the join button if you want to become a part of the Perk Squad. So, Perk Squad, y'all get five extra perks. You get some custom emojis to use in chat and live stream um and comments however that goes whatever you get to use these cool little emojis that i designed and you get to have a colorful badge by your name to tell you how long you've been a member of the perk squad that everybody can see you get to have exclusive videos exclusive posts and video shout outs like this one shout out to you nicole jarrett my new friend, shout out to you, Nicole Jarrett. So, uh, Nicole just recently joined the Perk Squad, and welcome, welcome, welcome aboard. We'd love to have you. Uh, and yeah, so shout out to you. Just wanted to, just wanted to say hello, give you a little shout out on this here video. Alrighty, y'all. Let's see if I've got music on here. Yeah, I do. Okay, we're good to go. We're all set. Let's go ahead then. In that case. Pull up the cards and move this microphone, this microphone, this microphone, right here, right here. Yes, let's do that. And get shuffled up. I've got my little sticky note over here, um, per usual. <laughs> Yeah, my sticky note over here, uh, because I know for these videos, we like to try to take a look into categories. So the categories that I have written down here, I know it, you know, we can't get through a whole lot in a, in just a one YouTube video, but I have politics here. I have finance slash economy here, and I have health and wellness here. Um, and of course with these, all of these categories are international, so um, for all of us out here in America, it ain't all just about us, and we will make sure the guides know to include other countries as well. Love to y'all. All right, so let's just dive right on in, get started here with politics. Spirit guides, my team... <laughs> What do we need to know about politics here in May 2021? <laughs> okay. Um, well, getting the devil card upright is a... This is a riveting way to start this. <laughs> Jesus. What? Oh, man. <laughs> we're, we're just going to roll with it, right? We're just rolling. We're, we're just going to roll with it. That's just... It's okay. This this is a very interesting uh, looking spread here for politics. Um, very interesting indeed. Uh, let me go ahead and get a little context on some of this. Uh, first and foremost, give me some context on this Dagum Devil card. Mm, okay, that's. Not great either. All right, let's go ahead and jump to context here on this Ten of Swords. <laughs> okay, can deal. I can can deal. Um, and then Three of Swords in reverse. Okay, so 
let me just go ahead and dive into this. There's several different things that look like that it's going on politically. In May, there's a chance, and remember, this is international, so who knows where um, this is trying to show up. But in May, if we end up having a little bit of a political shit show, um, then uh, y'all, y'all will know why. Y'all will know why. Because what I'm seeing here, um, <laughs> with this devil card upright, this is this is just not good. I mean, what do you what do you think of when you hear that card? I mean, it's it, we're not talking good stuff here. We're talking about negativity. We're talking about tech. Uh, toxicity. We're talking about things that shouldn't be existing in politics, though a lot of people know that it does. And here, by, represented by the Devil card, with the Page of Cups in reverse on it. Um, this is a card about emotional immaturity, which is kind of funny for it to be coming on the Devil card and, and politics. So we're talking about there's some either a person out there or certain people out there in the political arena that are doing some bad skeezy stuff and they have no emotional intelligence. In other words, it's all about me. What do I need? What do I want? What makes me feel good? I don't care if that's good for other people. I'm just thinking about me right now. There's there's some me-ers out there politically that um, are fixing to get upset in May some kind of a way because the message that the guides here are dropping down is they're not going to be able to get what they want on certain issues. They're going to be losing out on certain issues. Interesting. Um, and they're... <sighs> How do I put this? Their manipulation tactics would be in full view, uh, exposed for people to see in what ways they're trying to manipulate the, the agenda and kind of get what they want out of this. So whatever this is, is going to be good for all of us that need to have the truth and the exposure and all of that and bad for the people who are... Uh, who have historically gotten away with this kind of self-serving type of mentality, the mirrors out there. So, hmm, interesting. Could be an uncomfortable thing for everybody to go through if this ends up being a big enough deal. Uh, but it looks like it's for the better overall in the long run. So, hey, I'm not going to fight that. I'm not going to fight that. We started with the devil card. I'm okay to end on a better note with that but sorry for sorry to whoever those people are because they're not going to be too happy with that <laughs> yeah. um interesting that we got a king of swords here i will go ahead and get something extra why hmm so whoever this male is don't know who this guy is but there's this guy here and this girl here a man and a woman whatever this male and female right here um then we get a card that's kind of representing young people you know youth i have to say certain words over other words for the video to stay up uh so politically speaking man woman youth uh, the three of them together, there's something going on about an exchange here, uh, some kind of an exchange that would be a physical thing, so money or uh, inappropriate acts uh, of service of sorts, wink, wink, things like that, uh, that apparently here... Um, there would be certain people who knew about this that would be involved in politics and that they did nothing. Uh, and so that, that, that's really not good to see here. <laughs> um, these people that are implicated, I guess, in this, engaged in this some type of way look like they are tapped into the political sphere as well whether it's directly or indirectly some type of a way uh so i'm seeing whatever's going on between this man and woman and young people that there would be something getting exposed about these adults these two adults that had something to do in a negative way to youth again i'm watching what i'm saying sorry for the censorship you know complain to youtube about it <laughs> um so this is a really 
this is a stain on the government, the people that are involved in this, like whatever this is, this is an ugly stain uh, for people. Mm, there we go again. We get that relationship card. So see, I'm telling you, there's some kind of relationship between this man, this woman, and this these kids or a kid, you know, whatever. I don't know if it's one youth or if it's additional youths. I said the K word. Whoops. Um, I don't know, but there's something involved in relationships in this. <sighs> This does, again, there's there's inappropriateness. All of this is stuff like, I mean, come on. Y'all know, when I get this card, this is <clears throat> actual inappropriateness, right? Because this is our phallic symbol. So this, very interesting. There's more that's going to be, quote unquote, going down uh, in May that's related to this topic involving this guy, this woman and young folks um so we're gonna end up hearing more and it's gonna be kind of an ugly stain on uh the political arena put a bad taste in people's mouths it's it's basically these things both of these things really the theme on both of these things is that they are kind of pulling the curtain away a little bit more letting people see in behind the curtain a little bit more um, to kind of know what's what's going on back there that that we don't usually get to see into that we're not usually privy to and now we have some seats to be able to take a peek hmm good for us not so good for the political arena that wouldn't want to have people uh, grading their papers just saying just saying so in terms of this card where do we want to go with this card i said i was only going to get that context and look at what i'm getting here i mean whatever okay Ooh. okay so the fact that we're getting i know this is usually about change and transformation but getting the star card next to kind of i've been you know down and out and and trying my best to be resilient and then the death card coming here right next to it and this emperor in reverse and ten of wands there's somebody in the political sphere um don't know you know what nationality or whatever somebody in the political sphere that is either going to regrettably pass pass on um or is gonna be really close to that um in the month of may so whether it's that it actually happens uh or that it just um is seeming more and more uh imminent a powerful leader in the political sphere this is feeling like someone high up remember this is an emperor card okay an emperor card so this is like high up there whether this is royalty or whether this is president or whether this is prime minister you know someone high up uh in a political sphere um some male being either critically ill in may or passing on in may uh some type of way so that mm, that that doesn't feel good it's somebody that has had a lot on their plate um per perhaps uh they've had some health issues or scares or things in the past uh <laughs> tower card involved here um this is someone who's got a lot of issues i say that trying not to be mean uh but you know, just, just saying, this is someone who's got a lot of issues, uh, potentially a lot of drama surrounding them. Um, and this looks like it's kind of a, there's something about it that feels like a slow process, either a slow process of the passing or the health or a slow process of things that go on around that before, before or after the passing. Um, but I'm seeing that there are some things about this that will kind of be kept back from the public. For whatever reason, there are some things about this person's health slash passing, if that ends up happening in May, um, that will be held back from the people. And so we're not going to even really know all the things 
<laughs> Let me go ahead and take this moment to say this is all alleged, just my interpretation. Everything we talk about today in this video is all alleged, just my interpretation, okay? Okay. Thanks. With this, this kind of feels um, similar, but I don't know if this is similar as in uh, it just feels similar because we've got similar vibes going on that I'm about to tell you about, or if this is similar as in this is a continuation of this exact same person's situation. Could be two different people, could be the same person. But when we get this Ten of Swords right here and this Ace of Pentacles, we're talking about someone having an ugly ending to their career and a new person coming in, whether that's because of someone having a health issue or passing on and so no, someone new comes in or whether that means like just in a upsetting maybe embarrassing or somehow otherwise damaging way our career ends somebody else jumps in our place um in this political sphere i'm getting these female cards here so there's something here with feminine energy on it um about not being able to manifest what it is that they were trying to go for here hmm that's interesting two of one. oh yeah I'm, there's someone there's someone here walking away and there's some kind of feminine energy attached to this um so again this p political sphere uh directly or indirectly some kind of a woman taking an exit let me exit stage right over here uh and she feels like she's leaving on a weak note she feels like she's having to kind of separate herself from something uh this feels like a little bit like damage control image cleanup things of that nature so i don't know who she is or why she's getting pulled into a mix somewhere but i am seeing that um by the way just random for all of y'all who are uh in other countries like sometimes some of you will like uh email me or comment under a video or dm me on uh twitter and y'all be like oh this came true in my country blah 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 blah. that's really helpful because i don't watch world news i barely watch news at all because it tanks me it just tanks me and so a lot of times i don't know when some of these things have come true and y'all are the ones that alert me oh crap this came true because i watch the news and so just throwing that out there very helpful hashtag helpful <laughs> Ah, so in case this woman is not someone that I would be aware of immediately in the United States or something like that, just in case, uh, we're already 18 minutes in and I've only, I'm barely touching the politics one. See, these videos are so long. No wonder last time I made April be an extended video as well so that, um, we could kind of keep going. So here, hmm. Here's a card about families and youth, and here's a card about things being unjust and totally not fair. So in May, something about children and youth being totally unjust and not fair. There's a Knight of Cups around this, so this is a water sign male who acts kind of young in some kind of ways, like whether it's acting immature or just actually acting young or like maybe having a childlike mentality or childlike state or something like that that whoever this person is is associated with the idea of um this unfair unfair thing or even unjust thing happening to families and youth in may Whatever this is, ooh, this is a card that comes up when we're talking about homeless or refugees or, you know, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that word even, um, or, you know, people who uh, are being marginalized, down and out, literally iced out, look at this card, you know, some sort of a way. Ah, see, and these are these are young kids. This is a baby on this card. Like these are these are young people that this is happening to. What is this about? Something happening in May. And so they're saying that there's something that's going to be trying to come down the pipeline to bring more attention to this, to help with this, because this is a positive direction for it. That somebody's going to try to gain more control over this situation, some type of way, um, use their power to gain some control over this situation 
situation to find some silver linings and make this be able to work out a little bit better and help uh, with this, uh, I guess, the trauma of it, the emotional aspects of it, the stuff that stings and lingers from it. They're going to help with cleanup. Whoever this is, this is... Um, uh, it looks like it would be, it's represented by a female here, so I'm just putting it out there. It looks like it would be a female that would kind of come in and try to make a difference in this. And uh, with it being in reverse, the only problem here is this female either doesn't have enough emotionality to give or, or she's kind of a little bit emotionally cold but she's playing a role like acting like you know i care but not really so much seeing that queen of cups in reverse that's that's kind of hard to see because yeah that's either somebody who was so emotionally distraught themselves because of something or they're kind of cold and clamped off and i'm getting the cold and clamped off feeling mostly because my hands are feeling cold right now when it's absolutely warm in this house um in this room so that's kind of my sign from my guides that it, that's what it's feeling like so i don't know is there uh, just throwing it out there because it just popped into my head so just gonna say it is there something going on like at the border or something because i've seen people type in that there's thing go things going on at the border and they have said that it involves youth and i don't know if this seems to fit that or if that will fit that in may i don't know it could be something else i guess we'll stay tuned and see um with this three of swords in reverse and then the high priestess oh wow okay hold on hold on give me another oh yes 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 okay <laughs> i need to contain myself okay um i don't know why i'm so excited this could be a horrible experience <laughs> but it's just exciting because it's uh because it's exciting to me so um long story short <laughs> if that's possible for a b um all alleged just my interpretation in may this is talking about something that was that was bad that was happening or sad or upsetting or whatever uh, a, a really shitty ordeal that was happening that is kind of either coming to a close or trying to end or has ended and this is about when we're getting the high priestess in the upright this is about there were things that were kind of um Again, that idea of behind the veil, kind of hidden to where people didn't know about it, some kind of a way, and then boom, the moon card in reverse on top of it is always about, we're about to spill some tea. The secrets, we're gonna spill, we're gonna spill the secrets, we're gonna let it flow all over the damn counter and get onto the floor and tell our chihuahua puppies to come up here and lick it up because we're too lazy to get a bounty paper towel and it's easier for the chihuahuas to come and lick it up and so they're my little personal vacuum cleaners. Um, so this is the this is the moon card in reverse and we're talking about secrets revealed <laughs> uh so a lot of people have been saying that they feel like revolving around certain things in politics that people are keeping stuff from us and i'm not just talking about certain sections of people like i'm not just talking about like oh people who are right wing think this and people who are left wing think this and both both sides i feel like I see, um, and this, again, I'm just speaking for my country here, and there's probably, you know, other countries that, that have warring sides of political arenas, but from what I've noticed, there are people on the left side that are like, yeah, there's things people are hiding from us, think about the, the Russian issues, and this and that, and then people on the right side are like, yeah, of course there's stuff people hiding from us, you know, there was stuff around the election people were hiding from us, and so, like, you know, both groups feel like, like somebody or some side or some people in politics are hiding things and that there's not the whole truth and this is kind of saying we're gonna get some leaks we're gonna get some leaks in may leaky may man hashtag leaky may <laughs> we're gonna get leaks in may oh man <laughs> oh so among the various leaks there probably are several topics of leaks but among various leaks there are going to be leaks about um 
stuff that happens on water, like whether it's about boats or about uh, travel, uh, traveling over water, like flying overseas. There's going to be certain things about travel that come out. There's going to be certain things as we're seeing these two cards together with the Six of Swords and the Lover's card in reverse. It's going to be things again about the traffic, I-N-G word, that come out a little bit more. And again, for all of these things, I don't know if they're going to come out where in places where we get to see them or if there's going to be enough like ah don't let that get out there that people would have to kind of look for it to find it i don't know i don't know how accessible this is going to be all i'm saying is what i'm seeing here um so chip this guy is involved whoever he is this man will be involved um but it's more than just this one man who is involved this man is involved in a negative way but these people here more than one person um this group of people here are involved in bringing this out so there's going to be a group of people who are happy in bringing this information out there's going to be one guy who is very not happy about this information coming out but once again, it's like, oh, it's be better out than in. <laughs> uh, man, how many how many dads out there have said that about their butt suits? <laughs> how many dads out there? Yeah, mm -hmm. y'all y'all know a dad. Everyone out here knows a dad who's who said that. Better out than in. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Um, so the fart pile. All right, we've gone on a long time. I feel like I could go on for a long, long time about po political stuff, but we got more things we got to get to, and we're already in 26 minutes in. Um, so I'm going to try to to touch on some of these other things quickly, but we probably will end up having an extended video that I put over on the Perk Squad just to try to cover everything. Um and because I haven't done a Purple Squad video in a, in a little while. Not this week yet. So, all right, let's see. Finance and economy. Finance and economy. Okay. Interesting. And again, all the later. <laughs> So if I'm going to try to be somewhat on the swift side about talking about finance and, ec and economy, I would say overall there is some good energy here, um, at least for part of the month. So what it looks like is there's going to be a period of time in May where we have, you know, pretty good global economy, you know, comprised of all the countries adding up together. Pretty good global economy. I do see some people kind of, you know, trying to fight for what they want, moving forward, getting some good shit done, whatever stuff that that boosts the economy. I see that good stuff going on. That's nice. Um some some uh, uh how do we put it? Um mm. Some altruistic types of acts in May that somehow might be boosting the economy. I don't know whether it's through morale or uh, spending initiatives or what, but there's something along those lines with that. This here is where things could get a little bit shifty uh, up here. So overall, I'm seeing good global economy for May, but at some point, point in the month and this is kind of giving me split in half like whether it's the first half of the month or the second half of the month one of the halves of the month might shift a bit when it comes to uh economy or finance stuff so finance stuff can mean stock market stuff um it can mean uh like mass uh mass joblessness or you know the opposite of that you know it could mean all of a sudden, there's a lot of new jobs created, which is awesome. But there's some sort of a, a swing, a pendulum swing um, in May. I'm wanting to feel like maybe this is the second part of May and not the first part that, this, that the shift will happen, that things will be like pretty good with stuff for the first half. And then something somewhere at the end kind of gives it a little bit of a jolt, a little bit of a something. Um, that, that might be, I mean, that's kind of what I'm getting the feeling of, but timelines with tarot are kind of hard to pin down sometimes 
but overall i'm seeing pretty good stuff with start market i'm just seeing this little little whoopsie daisy uh up in here some kind of a shift that that people would have to account for any kind of little advice card on the shift <laughs> okay <laughs> oh man in terms of the shift the little advice cards that they're given here just to kind of lay something down real quick it's just a uh, be thought out, be mindful, be pragmatic, uh, don't make any sudden moves um, kind of thing. Just, just be smart, but do what you're feeling led to do and that things will improve. So at least what I'm seeing, I'm not seeing anything deep dive in a bad way, knock on wood, to where it couldn't come back kind of thing. I'm not seeing anything like that. So thank the Lord for that. Thank the Lord. All right, let me shuffle this back and we can look at health and wellness real quick before we do a perk squad video oh no my 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 cards made a mighty wind gust that blew away one of my sticky notes i have to put it back here i have to be put it i have to put it back here by the way one of my hard parts about sticky notes is i do have to have sticky notes for like literal organization from you know doing multiple jobs and things like that but if i write too many lists it really uh intensifies and worsens my ocd and i'm not talking about like people like oh yeah i'm ocd because i have colorful pens or whatever in order i'm like no like literally i'm diagnosed with that um among other things lord uh, which is one of the things that propelled me into the mental health field and the uh, spiritual and emotional health field, the psych psycho spiritual field, um, because I kind of understand things from personal experience and from professional uh, experience. But anywho, so I have to be careful of writing my damn lists so that it doesn't intensify uh, any mental obsessions or anything like that. But I'm like, don't blow away, little list. Don't blow away. All right, so health and wellness in May 2021. Oh well, shit. That's a that's a that's a fuck that card as being the first card is what I'll say. <laughs> gets better, hey, it gets better. All right, it, it's getting better. You know, it ain't all bad. It's getting better. <laughs> Alrighty, so interesting that I was just talking about mental health stuff and I'm like, where the hell is that coming from? That's really random. People didn't even have to know your sticky note blew away, much less any of your like mental health history. Like, who cares kind of thing. Um, well, I mean, people might care. People might be like, ah, oh, representation. Yay, thanks. Um, but this is where it gets brought in. This is kind of a mental mental illness type of card. Uh, this is about not having the best wellness and, and well-being in general. This is someone who is stressed out. They're worrying. They have maybe heavy anxiety and things like that. But what I'm seeing here, this is kind of a good thing good thing of what I'm seeing here in May is these two this king of pentacles and this ace of pentacles are really talking about something coming through in May in a tangible sense that can be helpful to people who are uh internally struggling and suffering so um Maybe this is a new uh, medical release of sorts or a new medical milestone of sorts. Who knows? Maybe it's the, you know, how there's a lot of people worried about the V-A-C-C-I-N-E and maybe there's something great that happens around that that makes people feel good. Like, oh, yay, now I can access it or something like that for people who are worried about that part of it. Um, I don't know. It could be something else in the medical world uh, that just kind of alleviates people's stress and concern and worry but there's something in May that could come out to assist with that so that's a really good thing um I'm also seeing a a transition point right here uh and with the eight of wands in reverse this is a communication card so it's interesting that what I'm getting is communicable like how they say communicable diseases and things like that like the COV 
id kind of thing with it being in this reverse this is like being less communicable and this is like transitioning from one period to another so it's kind of looking like they're saying that there is a uh that in may a lot of areas can see quite a big reduction in cases and or fatalities things like that there that there could be quite a big reduction in that in a lot of places of course this is global so you know i know that there are some countries that are super locked down and experiencing a lot of hardship with that um and that may or may not this may or may not uh reflect them uh, but there's going to be a lot of locations here around the world that this does where it's actually we're finding a lot of stuff getting better um a lot of uh a lot of this dying down kind of m motion of it like it it losing its grip on some of the places where we live uh and that's a good thing so i am i'm seeing that 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 a lot of people can expect that i mean if they put that here then it's kind of like more people than not uh can be expecting that so very good to see here very good to see uh interesting all right let's see perk squad y'all hold for a second everybody else if you'd like a private reading with me then go ahead in the group description box below you'll see the link to my website beastalksandtarot.com and you can schedule one yourself doesn't matter what time zone you're in you know you we can we can make this work you can just schedule it all yourself um and i'd love to love to do a reading for you and then everything else for people who are wondering about all my stuff anything you're wanting to know uh there's probably something in the description box or on my website about it so take a look there and perk squad we're gonna we're gonna do a second video here we're gonna do an extended because i feel like we have more stuff that we could be looking into like what else do we need to know about may 2021 what else do the spirit guides think you know hey we'll we're gonna let people know about this for may 2021 so I'm going to do another video for that. So, Perk Squad, hang tight. If Again, if you want to join the Perk Squad and you aren't a part of the Perk Squad yet, then the blue join button below or the link in the description box that you can copy and paste into a web browser. Uh, either one of those should work. So, I'm coming at y'all. And for everybody else, don't be a stranger. Come back and see me and I will talk at you later. Bye, love you, mean it. Bye, I love you, mean it. <laughs> Bye, y'all.